What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a comparison of the new fourth generation Apple TV and the Nvidia Shield. Now both of these represent the best of their respective platforms. The new fourth generation Apple TV launches Apple's new tvOS platform and the app ecosystem, while Nvidia Shield is Android TV's flagship streaming box, with a unique emphasis on gaming performance and choice. You can pick up a fourth generation Apple TV for $149 or $199 with 32 or 64 gigs of storage, while the Nvidia Shield TV can be had for $199 or $299 with 16 gigs or 500 gigs of storage, both of which are expandable thanks to micro SD card slots. The Apple TV does come standard with a pretty slick voice controller with a trackpad, but the Nvidia Shield comes standard with a game controller, but you can also purchase a remote separately. So obviously gaming is a major priority here for the Nvidia Shield with a standard gamepad, but this can also be used for navigating the system and controlling your media content. And with an IR receiver on the front, you can also use standard universal remote controllers just like you could with the Apple TV. Now comparing the remotes, both are somewhat similar in size and form factor with similar buttons. Both remotes have volume controllers, but the Apple TV remote directly controls the volume of the TV through infrared, while the Nvidia remote controls the volume output from the Nvidia box itself using a touch sensitive slider on the remote. Both have slim, high quality metal designs with an internal rechargeable battery. Not only the Shield remote includes a headphone jack for private audio listening, although the Apple TV can pair Bluetooth headphones for similar functionality. The design of the Nvidia box with its geometric shapes and multi-textured surfaces really brings a lot of attention. Of course, we also have that signature LED green lighting on the top. It can also be stood up on the side using the optional metal stand accessory. The Apple TV is a much more subtle and compact design with a white LED status light on the front. And of course, it's kind of meant to sort of disappear in the background. The Shield has a capacitive power button on the top, which the Apple TV does not have. That's something not common on most set-top boxes. There are much bigger differences on the backs. So if you look at the I.O., both have an HDMI port, but only the Shield has an HDMI 2.0 port for 4K at 60 hertz, while the Apple TV only has an HDMI 1.4 port. And that's because because this is a 1080p device. It doesn't offer 4K streaming. Now in theory, 1.4 can support 4K at 30 hertz, but Apple is not pushing that yet. The Nvidia Shield also includes a gigabit ethernet port, which is 10 times faster than the ethernet port on the Apple TV. Although the Apple TV does have a USB Type-C connector, it's primarily used for app development and servicing, while the Nvidia Shield has two USB 3.0 ports compatible with accessories like external drives or peripherals like keyboards. Now speaking of keyboards, the Apple TV does not support keyboards at this time, but the Nvidia Shield does, so it's pretty easy to pair them through Bluetooth. The Apple TV is powered by a dual-core A8 processor with two gigs of RAM, while the Nvidia Shield is powered by a Tegra X1 quad-core processor with three gigs of RAM and a 256-core GPU. This combination delivers desktop-class graphics performance compared to the more casual mobile-centric performance of the A8 in the Apple TV. The Nvidia Shield needs this performance to push 4K video and its exclusive gaming titles and services. And generally speaking, these are much more graphics intensive games than those you can get on other set top boxes or mobile devices, but they're not exactly console level games either. But Nvidia also offers GeForce Now, which is a subscription based cloud gaming service that allows you to play a variety of graphics intensive titles on demand and in real time. Performance is really impressive with no evidence of input lag. Now for best performance, you want to be connected through an ethernet cable or running over a five gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Apple TV's app ecosystem is only weeks old at the time of this video with a very limited selection of titles. Most of the titles are casual iOS games, which look and perform great on the Apple TV, but don't offer the immersive gaming titles available on the Shield TV. Gaming on the Apple TV does make use of the included remote with a built-in accelerometer and gyroscope with similar functionality to a Wii remote. You can also purchase a third-party game controller specifically designed for the Apple TV, which is somewhat similar to the capability of the included game controller on the Nvidia Shield. Now, in terms of media consumption, both boxes offer similar functionality and services with an app ecosystem that allows you to pick and choose your services such as Netflix, YouTube, HBO Now, and more. Obviously, with Android TV, Google Play services are at the heart of their media selections, while iTunes powers the Apple TV. Now, ultimately, both systems offer comparable selections and pricing in terms of movie, TV, and music titles. Both consoles also offer voice control with many similar functions such as searching for titles or launching apps. Siri on the Apple TV is more restricted right now than Google Now, but has some very useful functions. You can actually speak commands like, what did they say? And Apple TV will replay a scene with captioning. You can tell Siri to advance or reverse video right down to the specific second. 
You can also command it to find certain types of movies or TV shows and rank them by popularity, which makes hunting for titles to watch much easier. You can also bring up sports scores or weather information. Google Now, on the other hand, doesn't yet offer comparable media controls, but it is more flexible and operates more like voice commands on a smartphone with full Google searches and results and voice feedback. Both boxes ultimately work best within their respective ecosystems, so an Android user is best served by an Android TV box like Nvidia Shield, while an Apple user with content in the iTunes ecosystem should probably stay with an Apple TV. Apple TV is also the only box that also works with AirPlay and AirPlay mirroring, which are very useful features that allow you to stream your iOS or Mac display to an Apple TV. However, since Android TV also incorporates Google Cast, apps like YouTube and Chrome can easily stream media from either an iOS or Android device to the Nvidia Shield, which makes the Shield TV a more flexible option for a household with both Android and Apple devices. Ultimately, the NVIDIA Shield TV offers more choice and flexibility, along with better future-proofing thanks to 4K compatibility and higher end processing power, while the Apple TV offers a more focused media-first experience that remains the best option for Apple users. Choosing the best media player ultimately comes down to which platform you currently live in now and what features matter to you most. In either case, both are excellent options and are at the top of their class in terms of interface and features. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know, and I'll see you again in the next one.